Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 5th of August, Holy Mother, the Church, celebrates the memory of Saint Afra. Saint Afra uh, was a martyr who lived during the 3rd century, end of the 3rd century. Uh, she was a martyr during the Diocletian persecution. Afra was the daughter of the king of Cyprus and she was caught up in perse persecution of Emperor Diocletian in Rome, Roman Augsburg. She is listed in the Martyrology Hermanium. Afra possibly operated a brothel or she was a prostitute, served as a prostitute in the temple of Venus. Uh, along with Hylia uh, and Ironia and Utropia, three of her friends. So Afra and her three friends, like Daniel and his three friends. But Daniel and his three friends were living a life for God. But Afra and her three friends were doing prostitution. They were staying in a brothel. And that's when one bishop, Narcius of Grenoa in Spain, he who was ousted from Spain, he came running uh, towards Augsburg uh, and there he took shelter with Afra, not knowing who Afra was in profession. There, these girls, when they saw this bishop, the holiness of bishop, the faith of bishop, transformed their lives. And they who were known as prostitutes, as sinners, they who sold their own bodies, uh, they became saintly people. They professed the faith and for that faith they were ready to die. And that's how Afra was even ready to hide the bishop under flax when the uh, people from the emperor came to search for the bishop. But once they came to know that Afra hid the bishop, then Afra and her friends, all of them were persecuted, were burnt alive and they were ready to die for Christ. So Saint Afra, uh, after her death, she was buried uh, in a small chapel constructed over a tomb and then later she is claimed as a saint by the Catholic Church. What does Saint Afra teach us? Saint Afra teaches us that my present life has nothing to do with what God can do with me. My present life can be transformed. I can have a 360 degree transformation. But for this, I have to cooperate with God. If she would have blinded herself to the example that that bishop gave, she wouldn't have become Saint Afra, but would have remained as a prostitute Afra. But because she was allowing God to work in her through the example of that bishop, she transformed her life. Many times in our life, the Lord sends so many people as examples, not to just praise them, not to just see them as someone great and leave, no but to take the examples and transform our own lives. So let's ask the Lord for this grace and pray that through the intercession of Saint Afra, we may also leave things of this world and hold on to God. God bless us all.